Hi, welcome to Sin TV. Today I'm going to talk about how to film a bit. What kind of equipment I use? How do I set my camera setting? Where to find the birds? And how do I approach them? Here is the recommended photography gear. Basically, you need a camera, a telephoto lens, and a tripod. Here is my camera bag. Carrying a camera with large aperture, good autofocus system, and can handle fast speed. A telephoto lens of 200 to 500 millimeter, and an Osmo pocket, which is handy to use everywhere. Telephoto lens with at least 500 millimeter is good for bird photography. You need a tripod, as hand holding a heavy lens to film bird in flight is not possible all the time. Tripod need to be lower to eye level with the bird, and sometimes need to adjust the tripod closest to the ground to film birds in water. Gimbal head is recommended for bird photography. It is designed with finger touch control, so we can pan and follow the bird easily by moving it horizontally and vertically. Video through head is designed to get smooth video pan and smooth tracking. For shooting birds, I will use manual setting. For shuttle speed, for birds sitting on the branch, I will use 1 over 400. For birds in flight, I will use 1 over 1600 or even faster. I will open up the aperture depending on the depth of field. I will set the ISO to auto and let the camera adjust it accordingly. Here is my camera setting in different scenarios. First. A bird is moving from shady to sunny area. Second scenario, one bird is not moving and the other one is flying away. Third scenario is how I do my video setting. Now you have the equipment, you need to find birds. Start with your own backyard. Hungry and thirsty birds come to your feeders. Or you go to neighborhood park, gardens, or beach. Practice with seagulls as they are not afraid of people and they will fly closer to you. When hiking, look for swallow around their nesting house. Birds on the branch and chickadee coming to your park. And birds building nests in the tree holes. You will be surprised to find grey bull heron catching fish in the pond. Birds are shy and will be scared by sudden noise and movement. So I use telephoto lens to keep a safe distance. Always approach the birds quietly and slowly. Approach the birds when they are not looking or busy eating. Do not stare at the birds when you are approaching. Do not wear bright clothing. Remember to turn off your cell. Let the birds get used to your presence and come closer to you. Here are some shooting tips. First, understand birds' habitat and behavior. This will help you to find the birds and capture better image. Second, tell a story. This is important as this will show birds' behavior and anything special about them. The outcome will be stunning and the viewer will be more engaged. Third, try to get eye level with the bird. Eye contact will show the connection. Fourth, focus on the bird's eyes. Sharp image will make a better image. Fifth, get soft background. Try to move around yourself to have the bird isolated in the picture and avoid busy background. 6. Golden Hours 
Early morning and late afternoon provide good lighting to photographers, and birds are usually active looking for food during that time. Seven, enjoy the birds. Listen to the birds, follow the birds, enjoy the birds.